gemacht. Hello everyone, welcome back. I am going to do a very like National Geographic like episode um, because in Nicaragua I ran into various animals, some that I've never seen before, some that were just fun to be in more direct contact with. So I thought I'd share them with you in this short vlog um, for the occasion. I don't have many occasions. I wore my fancy owl earrings um, for the animal theme. So let me share a little bit about what I found. We found some little monkeys right there the top. Let me show you. So here is a howler monkey that's close. And I just want to share that the way they look and the way they sound is so different. Oh, I, they may not be happy with me here, but I'm not bothering. I'm just looking. Aww. Did you hear that? Telling you how they look and how they sound are two different ball games. Wow. Isn't Nicaragua amazing? Just to be in nature, and now if you're wondering why I look like I look, it's because we're going surfing, but first we're just being tourists. I don't know what this animal is. I thought it was a squirrel, but coloring look at that what do you think it is so guess what that was a squirrel it's called a variegated squirrel and much cuter than our squirrels I think no offense to the squirrels in the United States but right at Eden on the Chocolata on rainy evening uh, we get special visitors in the pool we get these little frogs and there was one night where we literally were serenaded so take a listen. Because Eden is high up, when we're doing yoga here, we see all these birds flying around high in the air. I think many of them are vultures. Um, I had actually found some binoculars that I was going to bring with me to check out the wildlife, um, but I was not able to use them. Um, that's for another vlog, so stay tuned. But the birds were amazing. I wasn't really able to capture them with my camera because, you know, you, they come at any random time. The coolest birds that I saw were sometimes it would just get really loud when we were doing yoga in the shallow. And this group of birds would fly by faster than any birds I've seen fly before, and they were green parrots. And I have never seen like a group or a gaggle or whatever you call a bunch of green parrots in the wild flying. So that was amazing. I wish I could have captured that on film, but instead you're getting this little bird drinking chlorinated water, which probably is not a good idea, but it's still kind of cute, right? I never saw so many butterflies as I have here. Different kinds of butterflies, different colors of butterflies. Also, they're kind of hard to capture except for this one day when we were going surfing and all of a sudden it was this swarm of yellow butterflies. Check this out. Look at all these butterflies. Amazing. I think that Mary Hulse has what this wow. place used to be called 20 years ago. <laughs> Look at that. They're everywhere. Amazing yellow butterflies. Something I learned and heard about butterflies I never knew before is when two butterflies are mating or whatever they do, they make this clicking sound. It's like, and that's so crazy to me because they're so fragile and they're so soft and delicate and I don't understand how they make this sound but you literally hear it and they're kind of like flying around each other um, so I hope one day you, you get to hear that because that was so cool. I'm also reminded of animals and how they come together to do teamwork, right? Um, check out these ants, like I guess they killed a bee or they found a dead bee, probably they found a dead bee, right? And the bee is so much heavier than them so it's always amazing, animals are amazing. During COVID, I spent a lot of time in Florida where my dad lives in Ocean Ridge um, and we did a lot of snorkeling. We actually saw even a washed up a hammerhead shark. But in um, Nicaragua, I've been focused on staying on top of the water, on surfing, so I didn't really see too many animals in the water. But I did see these cute little animals on the beach. Are they crabs? And do they live in like, 
are these shells a part of them or do they use shells to camouflage themselves? Uh So I know this is a little weird um, in terms of animals of Nicaragua, but we've been seeing these really big things like in trees and I'm going to show you one and see if you can guess what it is. There it is. You see that big thing in the tree? I don't know if you can see it, but it is a termite nest. Did you get it? Finally, I'm not sure if this is really like so exciting about animals that I just came into contact with in Nicaragua, but we did go horseback riding and I know that's not unique to Nicaragua. Uh, but just a little anecdote I wanted to share is that we were mostly just walking along with the horse, but then I asked to gallop because that's way more fun. And um, the owner of the horses recorded me. So here's, here's a little footage. And in my mind, I thought I was gonna fall off the horse. We were going like 100 miles an hour. Um, so all this to say is like your perception and your reality sometimes don't come together so I thought it was pretty funny watching it. I mean it wasn't going slow but I, in my mind when I was on that horse we were like speeding along like nobody's business. Thank you for joining me on this animal vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned about some new animals or just enjoyed watching animals in the wild. And stay tuned for a very special vlog about the one and only taco cat. A bonus vlog if you will.